Chapter 9, Circulatory Adaptations to Exercise Exercise Physiology Theory and Application to Fitness and Performance, 6th Edition Scott K. Powers and Edward T. Halley Introduction One major challenge is to homeostasis posed by exercise is the increased muscular demand for oxygen. During heavy exercise, oxygen demands may by 15 to 25 times. Two major adjustments of blood flow are Cardiac output Redistribution of blood flow A thorough understanding of the cardiovascular system is essential to exercise physiology. Objectives Give an overview of the design and function of the circulatory system. Describe cardiac cycle and associated electrical activity recorded via electrocardiogram. Discuss the pattern of redistribution of blood flow during exercise. Outline the circulatory responses to various types of exercise. Objectives Identify the factors that regulate local blood flow during exercise. List and discuss those factors responsible for regulation of stroke volume during exercise. Discuss the regulation of cardiac output during exercise. The cardiovascular system Purposes Transport O2 to tissues and removal of waste Transport of nutrients to tissues Regulation of body temperature The circulatory system Heart Pumps blood Arteries and arterioles Carry blood away from the heart Capillaries Exchange of nutrients with tissues Veins and venules Carry blood toward the heart. Structure of the heart. Fig 9.1 Pulmonary and systemic circuits. Left side of the heart. Pumps oxygenated blood to the whole body via arteries. Returns deoxygenated blood to the right heart via veins. Pulmonary circuit. Right side of the heart. Pumps deoxygenated blood to the lungs via pulmonary arteries. Returns oxygenated blood to the left heart via pulmonary veins, the myocardium. Fig 9.2 The cardiac cycle systole contraction phase diastole relaxation phase. Fig 9.3 Pressure changes during the cardiac cycle. Fig 9.4 Arterial blood pressure. Expressed as systolic slash diastolic. Normal is 128 of a millimeter of mercury. High is 140 slash 90 millimeters of mercury. Systolic pressure, top number. Pressure generated during ventricular contraction, systole. Diastolic pressure. Pressure in the arteries during cardiac relaxation, diastole. Blood pressure pulse pressure equals systolic, diastolic. Difference between systolic and diastolic. Mean arterial pressure, MAP. Average pressure in the arteries. Pulse pressure equals systolic, diastolic. MAP equals diastolic plus one third pulse pressure. Mean arterial pressure. Blood pressure of 128 of a millimeter Hg. MAP equals 80 millimeters Hg plus 0.33 120 to 80 equals 80 millimeters Hg plus 13 equals 93 millimeters Hg measurement of blood pressure fig 9.5 factors that influence arterial blood pressure fig 9.6 electrical activity of the heart contraction of the heart depends on electrical stimulation of the myocardium Impulse is initiated in the right atrium and spreads throughout entire heart. May be recorded on an electrocardiogram, ECG, conduction system in the heart. Fig 9.7 Electrocardiogram records the electrical activity of the heart B wave. Atrial depolarization QRS complex Ventricular depolarization T wave Ventricular repolarization, electrocardiogram. Fig 9.9. Cardiac cycle and ECG. Fig 9.10.
diagnostic use on the ECG. ACG abnormalities may indicate coronary heart disease. SD segment depression can indicate myocardial ischemia, abnormal ECG. Fig 9.8 Q equals HR excess foul cardiac output. The amount of blood pumped by the heart each minute. Product of heart rate and stroke volume. Heart rate equals number of beats per minute. Stroke volume equals amount of blood ejected in each beat. Q equals HR excess foul. Regulation of heart rate. Decrease in HR. Parasympathetic nervous system. Via vagus nerve. Slows HR by inhibiting synode. Increase in HR. Sympathetic nervous system. Via cardiac accelerator nerves. Increases HR by stimulating synode. Nervous system regulation of heart rate. Fig 9.11. Regulation of stroke volume. And diastolic volume, EDV. Volume of blood in the ventricles at the end of diastole, preload. Average aortic blood pressure. Pressure the heart must pump against to eject blood, afterload. Strength of the ventricular contraction. Contractility. And diastolic volume Frank Starling mechanism. Greater preload results in stretch of ventricles and in a more forceful contraction. Affected by. Venoconstriction. Skeletal muscle pump, respiratory pump, the skeletal muscle pump. Rhythmic skeletal muscle contractions force blood in the extremities toward the heart. One way valves and veins prevent backflow of blood. Fig 9.12 Average aortic pressure. Aortic pressure is inversely related to stroke volume. High afterload results in a decreased stroke volume. Requires greater force generation by the myocardium to eject blood into the aorta. Reducing aortic pressure results in higher stroke volume. Ventricular contractility. Increased contractility results in higher stroke volume. Circulating epinephrine and norepinephrine. Direct sympathetic stimulation of heart. Factors that regulate cardiac output. Parasympathetic. Nerves. Mean arterial. Pressure. Cardiac equals cardiac rate x stroke volume. Output. Contraction. Strength. EDV. Sympathetic. Nerves. Stretch. Frank. Starling. Fig 9.13. Hemodynamics. The study of the physical principles of blood flow. Physical characteristics of blood. Plasma. Liquid portion of blood. Contains ions, proteins, hormones. Cells. Red blood cells. Contain hemoglobin to carry oxygen. White blood cells. Platelets. Important in blood clotting. Percent of blood composed of cells. Hematocrit. Percent of blood composed of cells. Fig 9.14 Hemodynamics based on interrelationships between pressure resistance. Flow. Hemodynamics. Pressure. Blood flows from high low pressure. Proportional to the difference between MAP and right atrial pressure. P. Blood flow through the systemic circuit. Fig 9.15 Hemodynamics. Resistance Resistance depends upon Length of the vessel Viscosity of the blood Radius of the vessel A small change in vessel diameter can have a dramatic impact on resistance. Resistance equals Length x viscosity Radius for Hemodynamics, blood flow Directly proportional to the pressure difference between the two ends of the system. Inversely proportional to resistance. Flow equals. Pressure. Resistance. Sources of vascular resistance. MAP decreases throughout the systemic circulation. 
largest drop occurs across the arterioles. Arterioles are called resistance vessels. Pressure changes across the systemic circulation. Fig 9.16 Oxygen delivery during exercise Oxygen demand by muscles during exercise is many times greater than at rest. Increased O2 delivery accomplished by Increased cardiac output Redistribution of blood flow to skeletal muscle Changes in cardiac output Cardiac output increases due to Increased HR Linear increase to max Increased test vow Plateau at tilde 40% VO2 max Oxygen uptake by the muscle also increases Higher arterio venous difference Max HR equals 220 Age, years, changes in cardiovascular variables during exercise Fig 9.17 Redistribution of blood flow Muscle blood flow to working skeletal muscle Splanchnic blood flow to less active organs Liver, kidneys, GI tract Changes in muscle and splanchnic blood flow during exercise Fig 9.18 Increased blood flow to skeletal muscle during exercise Withdrawal of sympathetic vasoconstriction Autoregulation Blood flow increased to meet metabolic demands of tissue O2 tension, CO2 tension, pH, potassium, adenosine, nitric oxide Redistribution of blood flow during exercise Fig 9.19 Circulatory responses to exercise Heart rate and blood pressure Depend on Type, intensity, and duration of exercise Environmental condition Emotional influence Transition from breast exercise and exercise recovery Rapid increase in HR, SVAL Cardiac output Plateau and submaximal, below lactate threshold, exercise Recovery depends on Duration and intensity of exercise Training state of subject Transition from breast exercise recovery Fig 9.20 Incremental exercise double product equals heart rate x systolic BP Heart rate and cardiac output Increases linearly with increasing work rate Reaches plateau at 100% VO2 max Systolic blood pressure Increases with increasing work rate Double product Increases linearly with exercise intensity Indicates the work of the heart Double product equals heart rate x systolic BP Arm versus leg exercise at the same oxygen uptake arm work results in higher heart rate due to higher sympathetic stimulation blood pressure due to vasoconstriction of large and active muscle mass heart rate and blood pressure during arm and leg exercise Fig 9.21 Prolonged exercise cardiac output is maintained Gradual decrease in stroke volume Gradual increase in heart rate Cardiovascular drift Due to dehydration and increased skin blood flow, rising body temperature HR, SVAL, and CO during prolonged exercise Fig 9.22 Cardiovascular adjustments to exercise Fig 9.23 Summary of cardiovascular control during exercise Initial signal to drive cardiovascular system comes from higher brain centers Fine-tuned by feedback from Tumor receptors Mechanoreceptors Barvoreceptors A summary of cardiovascular control during exercise Fig 